What is going on guys welcome back to another video I hope you're having an amazing day today's video we are going to be taking a look at one of the final versions of the MIUI 12 launcher that would be most probably coming to the stable update in the next week or just the start of June in the global stable update on the China stable so again over here let's just unlock the phone as you can see this is the beautiful lock screen and on unlocking there you go the beautiful animations are now much more tighter and I guess they are now using the MIUI physics engine which would allow to just render much more higher quality effects just like iOS without draining much of the battery or just putting a strain on the GPU which is just amazing that Xiaomi developers have able to achieve it but again over here the animations are looking far more better than before now this is the the MIUI launcher version 4.18 and it began with the 4.16 on the last betas of the MIUI 11 but now over here there are a bunch of changes and most probably coming to the stable so again over here as you can see the functionality and everything is just the same if you just hold on over here if you go to the normal transition effects and settings they are just pretty much the same but if you just go to the settings app actually there are quite a lot of changes so over here again let's just come back the animations don't drop frames as much as before there are still a blink of animation right over there but it doesn't happen a lot now as you can see it's now completely fixed all things just work extremely smooth when compared to before now this launcher does actually support android 7 and above but it only works normally on the android 10 moe version 12 latest beta so again over here if you have a xiaomi phone running android 10 this launcher would most probably work just fine but again over here if you just want to avoid any kind of force closures just be on the latest version of moe 12 and then again go into the app world and stuff as you can see Again, the animations are just so fluid. Again, there is a bit of a delay on how the things work. So just for example, even going to the recent task panel, as you can see, you have to actually hold down a bit for the app to pop up. But just coming back again, just going to the activity, as you can see, everything just looks very pretty. Again, going back, you have all the shortcuts and apps right over here. You have the weather. All the animations are just so beautiful. Again, the popping in and out of the app has been a bit tweaked. So as you can see, there is no chop when exiting the app it's so fluid it again works smooth even in my redmi note 7 pro rather than what xiaomi has actually launched it on with the launcher 4.16 but let's just go to the settings app let's just scroll down to home again over here pretty much the settings are just same or simplified you have the global icon animations as before so for example if you drag an app anywhere the middle part of it is just moves a bit but over here, if you just disable it, it would be just completely stuck. But again, you can enable it right over here. And if you go to the icon settings, the shadows are a bit more optimized. But now the DPI is much more fluid in adjusting. As you can see, the launcher font is adaptively adjusting right over there. Somewhere over here is pretty good for a large screen like this. As you can see, looks very pretty. Then again, coming back, you have shade to fill empty cells. Again, just normal stuff. Even if you go to the home screen search bar, again, this panel most likely won't be on the global stable version but i hope google now comes to the moi launcher but scrolling down pretty much just normal stuff nothing added over here but if you go to the home screen there you go a brand new ui so before you had the app screen and the standard launcher but now you have an animation for it so again over here swipe up on home screen just brings up your content center and stuff it's not the control center it's just a chinese sharing platform again as you can see it combines everything from the vivo and stuff this is your control center completely different thing but now if you just switch to the app drawer which has a very fluid animation there you go so you just don't have to go through every single string for it it's just right over here so again you have manage app categories just like a poco launcher again coming back you have backgrounds again for the backgrounds the animation is very fluid now as you can see it switches automatically to dark and light which is great the usage is now much more simpler again this just looks very pretty but let's just keep it right over here apply and again just comes back to the home screen again the icons don't actually misplace they are still right over here so for example in earlier versions they would just go bonkers now they are completely over here again the launcher is very fluid you have the app category slide over here just like the poco and then let's just go back over here you have app suggestions scroll bar which you can set for a to z which i like place new icons on the home screen let's just not do that and then basically that's it this is the brand new mi12 launcher which would be coming to the stable i hope you guys enjoyed if you found this helpful please drop a like and subscribe down there if you want this launcher again links in the description for everything you can just go to your file manager select the launcher and install it right away and if you face any kind of issues you can again always go to your system settings Go to the system launcher and uninstall updates that should fix everything and see you guys in the next one. Peace.